name. So this is just going to gra grab the feature name um, to let us know exactly which, which element in the model uh, we're referencing. And then click Insert. So you should see this, this text in uh, um, set up now. This is not something that you can um, just type if you happen to see this. You can't just edit this text. Um, you have to make sure that you do that you insert the, the, the template in this fashion. Um, you can't just go in and edit this this text and change it. You have to use this this window in order to change it. So I'm gonna go to I'm gonna change my cursor location to um, right after slab volume here. And actually, I might need to close this window first. Okay, so there, there's the cursor. And I just want to right click, insert link template. And I'm going to switch the dictionary to IFC quantities. And under quantities, I want to select slab quantities. And then there should be, under slab quantities, there should be an attribute for net volume. So you should set it to IFC quantities, slab quantities, net volume. And then once you have that set, click Insert. So now it's set those two, those two variables to link to the, the 2D. So click OK. Now the last thing we need to do um, in order to make this this uh, text object work is we need to right click the text object and you should see an option make modifiable an instance. This is important. If you don't have this set then when you bring in the, the text object it won't link properly to the 3D model. You need to make sure that it's modifiable. So we need to we need to set that option. Um, go ahead and save this file. I'm going to call this my 2D annotations. So these are like my custom 2D annotations that I've created. Um, we don't need this sheet one that it that it set by default. So I'm going to go ahead and erase that. Um, and then I'm going to rename Sheet 2 here. I'm going to right-click and go to Properties. And I'll rename this Slab Tags. And I'm going to rename the 2D component. Right-click, Properties. And I'm going to rename that slab name and volume. So I know when I'm selecting it from the catalog uh, what exactly it's uh, displaying. All right, so save that again. And now I'm going to do a save as because I need to create this as a catalog. So save as and under the type, you want to expand that and go down to catalog. And it's just going to create a catalog um, dot catalog file with the same name, my 2D annotations. So that's that's fine. Anytime you want to update this catalog, all you need to do is go back to this drawing file and then do a save as and, and overwrite the catalog. So I can go ahead and close that now. And I want to go to my um, my model, and you may recall from a previous webinar that in order to get quantities, we have to um, do the update quantities button. Because if you notice, if I expand, let's say this slab, there's no there's no quantities 
attribute currently on that slab. So I need to go up here in the middle, um, the button called Update Quantities. Click that. And it's basically going to run through and locate all the architecture and structures objects and calculate their volume and, and different quantities. And so now I should see a slab quantities set up for the slab here. All right, so I want to go back to my, my drawing. Um, maybe I'll tile vertically. So I'm going to bring in that, um, that custom annotation we just created. So I'm going to go to my catalog browser under here. And I want to select it from, I want to select the, the catalog. So I need to go to browse another catalog. It's not a default catalog, so I need to, to browse it. And then I should see under where I saved it, my 2D annotations.catalog. So I went ahead and open that. And you'll see, like I named it before, slab tags different categories, slab, name, and volume. So I just double click that and I can place that right in the drawing. Click once more. Go ahead and close the catalog. And so now you see slab name, slab volume. No, uh, no information just yet. So let's go to the link Ditto text template button here. Select that that object, text object, and then I'm going to go over to to the model and select slab dot two. And you'll see that it's now created a link. And any time we update this drawing, um, these these numbers will also update. If we wanted to, we can uh, we can right-click the slab of the uh, the text object here, and add a leader, and have it point to the the slab that we're indicating in the drawing here. I can also move that location of that that leader. So now we have so now we have a custom tag that's pointing to this particular slab, and it's indicating the volume and information that we have linked to the model. And go ahead and save that. All right. So I think we've covered quite a bit today. Um, this is basically a good intro to um, how to work with drawings and drawing production and digital projects. Um, we do offer I just want to show the, the website real quick. We do offer, um, under support training, we do offer training. Um, uh, it's something that we can do, uh, we do in our, our local offices, um, or we can also do on site um, if there are at least about five people that are taking the training. But one example would be the, what we've covered today is basic um, drawing generation. If you wanted to know more about how to work with large, um, drawing production models and um, and how to deal with that, then uh, you may want to consider uh, contacting us about training. Um, like every week, I want to just show we have the, the webinar uh, website set up here. Um, every week, we have a recording of the, of the session that we put up on the website. Um, you can sign up for the last in this particular series. Um, we'll be picking up again soon in the near future. Uh, next, e next week we'll be learning about methods for team collaboration um, and basically see how we can keep records of intended design changes and facilitate the link between BIM modeler, BIM model builders, and project managers. So um, hope to see you next week. Um, for the eighth webinar in the Building Fluency webinar series.
same time, same place.